the southeastern United States, home to America, beautiful beaches, and the most fantastic parasite in the world. An extreme example of a zombie parasite, the epularian nematode, burrows into the skull of its host. Then it ejects unnecessary brain matter and injects a chemical milkshake. The chemical concoction works quickly on the central nervous system, completely overtaking the host's body and mind. This host is showing some worrying symptoms. Its infected brain directs it to consume large quantities of calories, exclusively from cookies and milk. With heightened drive the host continues to splurge, spurring a spectacular growth of white facial hair over just a few days. When complete, this thick carpet marks the beginning of the second stage of the epularian nematode's life cycle. Mating The flatworm steers his meat sack to scrounge through garbage cans, compost heaps, and other refuse. Scientists now know that the mindless wretch covers itself in very bright colors, usually red and green as part of an elaborate mating ritual. Here we see the nematode making spawn sacs. Delivering its spore through the roof of the host's mouth, the zombie parasite drives its carnal compatriot to carefully wrap packs of sperm, which it will carry. Until, the winter solstice. Every year, around, New Year's, the flesh chariots of different epularian nematodes meet. Thanks to advancements in high dynamic range night cameras, for the first time researchers have captured the bizarre genetic exchange. It is a haunting affair. As packs of sexual ooze are forcibly deposited with other hosts. Beautiful and violent, the dance finishes as quickly as it began. The morning after mating, totally spent of all energy, the host begins the third and final chapter in its grisly existence. The zombie flatworm is preparing to give birth. And to do that, it needs two things. 1. Remove what is left of the host's brain, it shoves the bright red matter out of its burrow and the other <coughs> propels the host into the ocean. And so the Apularian Nematode's life comes to an end. Who knows why nature saw fit to bestow such a wondrous creature upon us? Why is a tooth the only part of our body that doesn't repair itself?